So the key issue was really around the shutdown and, and managing um, people's understanding and expectation around that. The big shutdown that's occurring in December, January, um, there are obviously issues. What's critical is that everyone understands what happens in a worst case scenario, making sure people are aware of what contingency plans need to be activated to deal with that event is really critical. Whilst we think it's highly unlikely that they're going to need to be activated, everyone needs to be aware of what they need to do in that particular situation. Uh, the equipment is old and doesn't meet current codes, as well as that the capacity of the building is far outgrown the capacity of the switchboards. So we need to upgrade the switchboard so it can feed those buildings. So what we're planning to happen is that the builder, Lendlease, will provide some other source of uh, long-term power over the Christmas outage to just keep the most precious part of the machine running, which is actually just some small pumps that only require maybe a few hundred watts to keep the main vacuum onto this part, which is its most precious part. Most of the systems will actually be offline for that power shutdown. Um, there will be the mains upgrade occurs. Um, so our view here is that um, a lot of the buildings um, external to this plant will still maintain operations. Um, the NAS team has gone through and we've identified um, critical equipment which will still maintain operations for the remainder of the university um, and, and then the rest of the system will be offline for, uh, for this electrical upgrade. This is a central chiller plant where basically supplies chilled, uh, chilled water to the whole of the city campus. So all, all the different buildings go out from here. And it's important not just for air conditioning purposes, but for uh, research, critical research equipment, which requires chilled water, uh, as well as ITS systems and things like that. No real surprises. Um, the power went out, the lights went out. Um, it's just a matter then of our guys starting the work. And also, just we had some temporary supplies through the comms rooms for RMIT, and we just had to go around and check to make sure they were still on. This is the back of one of the existing switchboards. You can see all the copper bus work. So the power came down and through the main switch, and then back out and reticulated through the boards. These ones here that come off the main supply, these are for essential services, such as lifts and the fire panel. That means you can turn off the switchboard, but because city power supply is still alive, you feed all your essential services. This is the new main switch for the switchboard. It's a lot smaller than the existing ones. You can see that the copper is actually tinned. That is done so it's got better current carrying capacity. It can actually carry, carry more electricity for its size. So this board, it actually will feed more circuits than the old one fed plus there is spares for future. Uh, normally you will shut a building down and there's no one in there and there's no temporary supplies to run. This one involved a lot of meetings and a lot of temporary supplies to get things, keep things operating throughout the shutdown.